All right, guys, movie 14 is um, uh, Requiem for a Dream. I love this one. It made me cry. It's a, it basically, I think it should be shown in health class. It's about these, um, it's about uh, Ellen Burstyn plays this woman who's gonna, who might be going on a TV show, might not, I'm not going to tell you. But except, like, of course, like, she gets addicted to, um, to, like, uppers, um, you know, you like, diet, diet pills, amphetamines. And, of course, like, it's about her mental breakdown. And then, of course, her son, her son, her son played by Jared Leto, his friend played by Marlon Wayans, and then um, his girlfriend played played Jeff Crawley. It's about how 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 are they gonna take to the heroin? And of course, like it's just about the downward spiral. It is good, but except it is very, very. I think it's probably my second most depressing movie I think I've ever seen. I'll get to number one later on. It'll be a while, but you know. Um, and then um, but except like there's a scene. It's kind of later on in the movie, if you look at the trailer, it shows you. It involved electric shock therapy, and then this uh, character, I'm not going to say which one, loses his arm due to the character keeps on putting the same um, needle inside the same vein over and over and over again. So, yes. Yep, it's just about... I This movie, like, really, really, really recommends that you don't do drugs. Yeah, so, um... So, yeah. Requiem for a Dream. I highly rate it, but you really have to be in the right movie because it's so, so depressing.